good morning doctors welcome again today we are going to discuss about urinary problems genital fistula and genital tract injuries okay surgery for genuine stress urinary incontinence is stress urinary incontinence is the surgery is for retropubic urethropexy so b option is right here now bonnie's test is used to determine it is mainly used to determine the stress urinary incontinence it mainly used to determine stress urinary incontinence okay now continuous incontinence of urine is seen in urethrovaginal fistula in urethrovaginal fistula we see the continuous incontinence of urine okay now VVF is vesicovaginal fistula in obstructed labor is required after a gap of uh, repaired after a gap of it is mainly repaired after three months gap minimum okay now 48 years seven days post hysterectomy fever burning micturition with dribbling of urine but able to pass urine voluntarily diagnosis is its urethrovaginal fistula its urethrovaginal fistula okay now a 52 year old lady present with constant leakage of urine and dysuria two weeks after a complicated total abdominal hysterectomy a diagnosis of vesicovaginal fistula is suspected the most important test for the diagnosis is triple swab test a option is right here now genitourinary tuberculosis is characterized by it is mainly characterized by the sterile pyuria d option is right here in a 25 year old female cystitis is best treated by it is mainly best treated by nitrofurantoin so d option is right here so guys i already finished with urinary problems and genital fistula and genital tract injuries if you have any queries any question you can ask me and if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe it thank you good day and goodbye that's all for